This is Eugene Panrudkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have, we have an Asus Q400A laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus Q400A laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop, we want to disconnect all sources of power, and that means removing the battery in this case. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, slide the two levers on either side to the right, and then slide the battery out like so. Once the battery is out, we can work on this laptop safely. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop because it's in small print. There is one place right here. It says Q400A. And also under the battery, it says Asus Q400A. Okay, let's flip this laptop over and take a look. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two, sc two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So before we start, let's go over the tools that we're going to use for this. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate any cables or to remove any screws that may be stuck. And we have a X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed end and that's to remove the plastic screw covers and also to remove any adhesive tape that we may encounter. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove the plastic screw covers using the X-Acto knife. And what I like to do is put it right by the hole opening so I don't lose them. There's one. And let me grab this one. There's one and two. There it is. Don't want to lose it. We put it on the side like so. Once we do that, the screws are exposed and we use our screwdriver to remove the two screws from the bottom. There's one and two. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to start, I keep them in a separate pile in the order in which they're removed so I can keep track of which screws go where when we put the laptop together. Once we remove the screws, we can remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And for this one, there is some adhesive on the back. So what I like to do is put my fingertips or fingernails right under this bezel and lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And just work your way around the screen, like so. Okay, before we go any further, when we put the laptop back together, I want to show you how to snap the screen bezel back on. So lift up and in, and snap the screen bezel back in, like so. And just go around the screen. So just reverse the procedure. Okay, so we keep going around the laptop like so. And on the bottom, we do the same thing. Like so, and tilt the bezel forward and the bezel comes off. Once the bezel is off, we can look at the screen assembly now. This is a this is a slim screen, and for this type of screen, you have some metal brackets with some screws on top that are mounted to the back of the screen assembly, and some screws on the bottom that are mounting to the back of the screen assembly. So what we're going to do is tilt the screen back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward when we remove all the screws, and remove the four screws one by one. And we start a separate pile for these screws. 
Okay, once we remove the screws, there's uh, several tricky things about this laptop that I'll show you. Okay, the first one is before you move the screws, there's a magnet right here. Note the position of the magnet. It will need to go back in. The problem is when you move, remove the screen, it's going to want to come out with the screen and you don't want to lose it and you want to know which position the magnet is in. So once you remove the screws, remove the magnet and put it to the side. Once you have the new screen, put the screen in first and then put the magnet on over here. Okay, so next we gently lift the screen forward and once again we see that the magnet is coming out with the screen and it's kind of stuck there so I'm gonna grab it with my metal tweezers and put it to the side where I don't lose it or where it doesn't get stuck where it's not supposed to be. The second thing is there's some adhesive tape that connects the back of the video cable to the back of the screen assembly and we need to push push that off, pull that off like so so we have better access to the connector so we can pull the screen forward a little bit like so. Okay this type of screen it only has one connector at the bottom and secured by some adhesive tape to the back of the screen. So the first order of business is to lift up the adhesive tape and we can either use our fingernails or the hobby knife to do that. Once we do that, we move the adhesive tape back. We grab the connector by the back and gently pull backwards like so. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. It can be a little bit tricky. So we gently push it in. You'll feel, but not hear, two clicks when the connector engages. Let's get a close-up look at the connector. Pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, once again, we pull out the connector. Now this connector requires a little bit more force than usual, so just pull backwards, not up, but backwards like this, and it will come out. All right, now that the screen is free, let's take a look at the screen. Okay, this is an uh, unusual screen. The size is 14.0 and it's a slim screen, but it's not the standard 14.0 slim screen. This screen is custom to 14 inch Asus laptops. So be careful when ordering the screen because it's not commonly available. It might say 14.0 slim, but the mounting brackets and the connector will be in a different place. So the way to figure out which one is the right screen and we're losing focus for some reason. Okay, is to look on the label. In this case, the label is in the front in a very tiny print. So what you're looking for is this number here. So it's HW14WX107. So that's what you need to look at. Also, another compatible screen is HW14WX. 101. So it's either 107 or 101 at the end. And when you do get the screen, make sure that the mounting brackets on top have two holes on top, one here and one here. And the mounting brackets on the bottom have one hole each on the bottom and they're next to the this circuit board. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons, uh, currently as of mid-2013, have this screen available. Uh, it's, we have it on and off so you would need to contact us to see if we have it. So the way to do that is to go to www.screensurgeons.com There will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and your email and then we'll respond to you if we have it or we don't. Uh, if you do get this screen from us, uh, this toolkit that you see here, it will come with the screen at no extra charge uh, we do have fast shipping. We ship priority mail and the shipping is free. And if you live outside the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. So just go through the regular checkout procedure and then select your country. 
Okay, uh, once you do get this screen, connect the connector as I showed you, then mount the screen in the back of the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, then the two screws in at the bottom. After you do that, put the magnet back in the place where I showed you, and then carefully snap the screen bezel back on like I showed you. There's one more trick when snapping the screen bezel on, when trying to get the bottom of it to snap in, what you might need to do is, once the bezel is on, is gently press down like so to get the bottom to snap in. And then that should work. And then for the hinge covers here, the, bez the screen bezel will have some hinge covers pressed down like so on the hinge covers and those should snap in. And that should do it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.